Greetings everyone, the Good Sir Knight here, and today we're going to be doing a review, kind of a first impressions we'll say. Now with Okinawa being balls hot and balls humid all at the exact same time every summer, dehydration is a problem. I mentioned this in my old OS1 video about the basically Japanese, not Pokari sweat, the Japanese Pedialyte. So pretty good, but not perfect. Now, it does have a decent flavor to it. Now I went online, and doing my little Amazon research, I found a thing called Try oral little oral rehydration salts. Now this is after I learned about drip drops, which were basically a military sort of orange or grape flavored little tablet. You drop them in like 500 milliliters of water, you chug that, and you're okay. Problem: expensive, rather expensive. Well, probably more like two dollars for per tablet is what we're looking at basically. But simple, easy to use, which is nice. But I did find the try oral thing. We'll look at on that now. Try oral comes in these tiny little waterproof sealed packets. So as you can see, it's good for dehydration, good for traveling, in case you get dehydrated on traveling, hiking, extreme activity, like, I don't know, say airsoft and full battle rattle in the middle of the hot, humid sun, as well as outdoor labor. So my buddy Peter's watching this. You might want to pick some of these up. So these generally are pretty cheap. They sell them in a little box of 15. You can get a bigger box of like 30, or you can get the box of 100. Now with age, once you hit 25, your body stops holding as much water as it did when you were younger. Which is why from about the age of 21, 20 in Japan, to 25, when people got drinking really heavily, they're generally okay, because their body has the extra water to hold all that alcohol. And not to mention, if you get the extra muscle, that helps out too. Fat doesn't hold water, though. Or if fat holds water, it doesn't hold alcohol, which is the problem. So, as you get older, you're going to start eating these, because between 25 and 29, your body just loses its ability to hold water, you put on weight, lose muscle, and all that other good problems, and yeah, you just can't hold the water. So this is basically a combination of the four electrolytes, so calcium, potassium, sodium, except chlorine, and all that other stuff, magnesium is another one, all mixed together in the ingredients, as well as some glucose, so a very simple sugar. The sugar helps your intestinal wall basically instantly absorb those electrolytes, get them into your blood, and get it throughout your body where you need it. So, the main downside I've been looking at, as opposed to drip drops and everything, that costs sufficiently more, because when you get a hundred packet box of these, you're basically spending like 50 cents a pack, which is almost nothing. So, with the good Sir Knight being the old ragged self he is, do you get a box of 100? This looks a lot smaller on the website, by the way. This is a big box. So, the downside I heard is not being drip drops or OS, OS1, or Pedialyte for that matter. Basically the same approved WHO formula, World Health Organization. The new WHO formula. And not the band, the WHO, the World Health Organization. Don't mix those two up. So yeah, hydration salts. Now the downside I read is they don't have any of the extra stuff to make them taste good. So from everything I read, it's basically a saline minerally solution, which is what we're gonna test today. So this little packet here, makes one liter of water. As you can see, it's, we got the 1,000 mark. It's a little bit over, but this is a liter of water. That's a lot of water. And once you make it, you've got about 24 hours to drink it all because, well, easy to use glucose with a bunch of minerals. You're gonna start forming bacteria, viruses, and all that other nasty microbes that like to live in stuff where you don't want it. But you can make a liter of this and then pour it into 500 milliliter bottles or whatever you need, and then you keep one of those bottles in your dump pouch. And, or you could just put all of this into 500 milliliters, and you'll have a very small sipping bottle, and then you have your main camelback or whatever to get the rest of the water. So you can make it work out. You can use this however you need to, to stay hydrated in the fight. Now it does have a little tear here, so fortunately we won't have to use scissors. And let's take a look, shall we? So we're going to pop this open. I'm actually not terribly dehydrated, but I just plan to go running tomorrow. And since it'll be good for 24 hours, it's already getting late into the evening, we got some time. So as you can see, I'm going to twist pull the camera down here, we have basically a bunch of white powder. Now, were you feeling incredibly brash, camera's a little low, I would normally make a joke about snorting this like coke, because it's just funny to me, and I find no end to it, I'm sure. It smells faintly sweet, mostly due to the glucose. It is 13 grams of carbohydrates, about 50 calories. Which is a lot. Well, we're going to mix it into our big old tank of water here, because I just like that. Da, 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 da. Ooh, cool. What's it taste like? Ooh, 
kind of tastes sweet. But I need a spoon to mix this. So ignore me while I go to the kitchen and summon forth the spoon of mixing. This is the good nice spoon of mixing thrown at me once by the Lady of the Lake. Told me I will never be king. But what does she know, right? And now we make a bunch of really annoying glass clattering noises. And I think it's in there. Not bad. We're gonna go ahead and give this a shot because I, I think it's never a bad time to dehydrate and or rehydrate unless you're already horribly dehydrated. So let's uh, give this a shot, eh? It's not overwhelmingly saline or minerally. Faintly, faintly sweet. It's that little touch of glucose on the side, but other than that, it's like slightly salted water. I mean, I could drink it just fine. I'm not like, or anything like that matter, so. Interesting. I, you do, you do feel it though. If you've never used a normal rehydration solution, you'll kind of feel it. I don't want to say tingle through your body because that sounds like something terrible is happening, but you do feel that rehydration. As soon as it hits your stomach, it passes into the uh, intestines right away, and from there it starts getting absorbed and going through your body very, very quickly. Faster than an IV, but if you're using an ORS, the downside is, if you're already really dehydrated, like to a horrifying amount, then even just drinking an ORS solution mixed with water can make you bleh, it all up. And if you're spewing up the rehydration solution, then uh, that's when they need to do the IV. The IV isn't as effective. If you can, you want to drink this long before you reach the reach death's door on dehydration. And if you're drinking this, this will keep you going. So, yeah, actually, not bad. I can um. I can drink this all pretty How much should I drink already? Generally, you don't drink that in a while. We've gone through about... We're about halfway through. We're not halfway. We're like 250 milliliters, 300 milliliters in. So not bad. It's not the best flavor in the world. I mean, obviously... <laughs> It's it's not even vanilla. Like you'd probably prefer the taste of vanilla. I mean, unless you don't like vanilla, I'm fine with vanilla. Everyone knows it's all about chocolate, preferably mint chocolate chip. But it's not bad. It's not like the first thing you want to go drink. But I suppose if water tastes better when you're dehydrated, then this probably tastes a lot better. But yeah, it's working. Bit of a faint salty aftertaste, but not bad. So yeah, all in all, what do I say? Well, it seems to be working. This is the thing, you can feel it kind of working, but you can't know for sure. Now, if I was already horribly hungover and just completely drunk or something, then yeah, drinking this would probably help out a lot because a lot of the mad pain and everything that comes from a hangover, other than the poor lack of sleep, is the dehydration. So if you drink a bunch of alcohol before you even go to bed, you're still drunk instead of just drinking water, yeah, I'd probably pound some of this. Your uh, body will thank you in the morning, so... Yeah, that's what I got for you guys so far. I mean, it's interesting. It's not bad. It's not necessarily good, but it's way better than dehydration. So yeah, I'm probably going to keep this. It's already like 7 o'clock p.m., so wake up tomorrow, 05, take a few swigs, go on a run, pound the rest then. See how that works out, because generally you'll always feel dehydrated running, especially in Okinawa, so there you go. All together, this huge box is like... Uh, like 40 bucks, 44 bucks. Make it for the fact that there's 100 packets in there. So, yeah, that's what I got for you guys so far. Hopefully that video helps. You now know this exists, and you can purchase it on Amazon. So, wherever you live in the U.S., if you're deployed overseas or something crazy and you can't find anything to rehydrate with, or you just get tired of buying buckets and buckets of Pedialyte, there you go, 50 cents. Not bad. Not bad at all. You just need a liter jug to put it all in, or, you know, mix it. I guess it tastes a lot more saline. It was only 50 milliliters, but yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. 
So there you go, there's my review first impressions. Good stuff, so feel free to try some for yourself. If you don't believe me, I mean, you get a 15 pack for like 15 bucks. Test out the flavor, see if it's to your palate. And yeah, so cheers everyone, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay chivalrous.